Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and You're Here to Paint. And today we are doing something fun. We are doing... Ooh! Ooh. That, was, that was good. Thank you. So we're gonna be drawing so many different hats. So today what I want you to grab is, well first we're gonna use your pencil because we're gonna draw some, but you will notice that my paper already has some outlines. So if you have our box, or if you wanna to go to our website and go to our outlines and type in hats of many sort, you can also download this. But you will have a paper that has this outlined. Then what I want you to do is I want you to tape it to the table like I did so it doesn't move a lot because we're gonna be painting and drawing on the whole thing. Then we have our watercolors. We're gonna be doing using watercolors today. And I have a couple different colors. Now you can grab any color if you have, but today I'm gonna to be using tangerine, which is an orange. Those sound really good right now. Mm -hmm. We have emerald green. We have berry blue and we have violet. So we're kind of in this theme of all these different colors. So grab that, have your palette, because we're gonna use that to put our paint on. We have a any type of water cup and your brushes. Now I'm gonna be using both a big one and a small one because it will help with the different size spaces that we are painting on. So the first thing that we're going to do is I would like you to raise your right hand and repeat after me. Now this is our saying or our motto that we like to do before we paint together. So repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <gasps> Boom. And then let's have you meet if you haven't met him before. Maybe this is your first time painting with us, which if, if it is, welcome. This is our cameraman, Keenan. Hello. I did not do my hair today. <laughs> Who is going to be here? Who he will give us some fun facts or just talk to us while we paint. Ooh, I could find some facts about some hats. Hats? Okay. Okay, so first step is, like I said, I want you to grab a pencil because we are going to be drawing. Now, I want you to listen to me for a second. If you have never drawn before, if you're like, I'm not an artist, I can't draw, I want you to know that you are. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break it down into small steps and shapes. So I want you to stick with me. Okay, so there are so many, there's four different ones. So you can pick which one you want to do this first hat on. But the first one I wanna do is a, a traditional pointy hat. So I'm gonna just take this one right here. So I have my curve at the bottom. This is my bottom of my hat. What I want you to do is I want you to add some curves more. So it's kind of like a C and then the other side is an opposite C. So we're adding it to both sides so it kind of curves in. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna draw a triangle on top of that. So connect at those two spots. You're gonna draw a triangle. And if it helps, what you can do maybe is draw yourself a dot at the top and connect this dot to this line. Just like that. So it's a diagonal line. And then on the other side, you're going to repeat, but connect there. Now, the next step is, is let's add a buckle. Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw anywhere around here on the bottom, because buckles typically are towards the bottom. So I want you to draw a square or a rectangle. And then inside that, let's draw a little bit of a smaller one. So this is your buckle part. Now on the buckle, you also have a, a ribbon or a band. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna add short horizontal lines on both sides. So connect from the end here and then repeat. So do you see how our imagination, do you see that? This is the ribbon, it's going through the buckle and then it's gonna to come to the other side. So through the buckle to the other side. Very cool. You just drew that. Nailed it. Look, we just did one. Now, the next one is, is let's do a kind of fun, curly one just to mix it up a little bit. So I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna mix it up. I'll do mine down here. So you're gonna repeat that first step like we did on this one. And you're gonna kind of draw these C's and then an opposite C. But this one, because like I said, it's kind of pointed. Let's do it where it's gonna curve in again. Do you see that how we made this curve that goes like that? Yes. 
So let's do that. And then on this side, we're gonna do the same thing and just kind of curve in like that. Now, let's add a, another kind of curve kind of coming up. So instead of a triangle, let's have a curve. So let's connect this and let's kind of draw up, see what happens. And then what if you draw a little curly cue like that? Or what do you call those? Spiral. 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 Curly cue's fun though. Okay, so do you see how we're starting to take shape? Now, connect this swirl with this curved line. We're gonna connect on the other side. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna start, it might start, help to start here, and we're gonna make the other side of this. So right here, or wherever yours ended, I want you to, let's see, pause for a second. Okay. I want to teach you, because there's two different ways. So you can either start here, or you can start here. But I think it might help because your curl might have ended at a different spot than mine. And I love that yours is different than mine. But I wanna help you out where, let's draw the other side of this hat. So it's gotta kinda go to the edge and kinda come in. And you see that? So we drew the right side of this hat. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna curl this around this shape, but I'm gonna kinda follow this, but I'm not gonna touch this line. And as I get closer to the end of my spiral, I'm gonna get closer to my line. So you see, I'm getting closer and closer. So close. And then when I get here, I'm gonna touch it. Do you see it? I see it. Yes! So I hope that helped. So like I said, you could do it either way, but that way you could follow that line. Now, this is, this is so fun to see it come to life. Let's add another buckle, because why not? But I'm gonna mix it up. Since this is a really skinny hat, what if our buckle is really skinny? So drawing a rectangle instead of a square. Cool, and taller then, hat, taller buckle. Yeah, and then you'll draw a skinnier, taller buckle. Do you know the name of this style hat? Ooh, no, tell us. It's called the dunce cap style. Dunce? Mm -hmm. So the origin of the dunce cap style is thought to come from the followers of a 13th century magician called John Duns Scotus, who believed humans act as a funnel for wisdom. Whoa. Yeah. The tall conical hat would act as a receiver and focusing point for wisdom. So this is a wisdom hat. A wisdom hat. Or dunce hat. Yeah, well... Dunce cap style. Got it, got it, yeah. got it. I like wisdom hat. Me too. Awesome, that was a good fun fact. Yeah. Now, let's do another type of hat. So the next one is, we're gonna kind of mix it up and I'm gonna do this kind of floppy hat and it reminds me of one from a movie called Harry Potter. Yes, so the sorting hat, I don't know if any of you have seen Harry Potter, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. So we're gonna draw that. Now, that's what this one is for, where there's kind of a loop. So this is the inside of the hat, but in order to draw the kind of flop, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start on the left side, and I'm not gonna go to the edge, I'm actually gonna start kind of in the middle of this oval, and we're gonna come up, but don't go all the way up, because we're gonna start our flop. So we're gonna come up and then kind of right there, we're gonna just go diagonal. You see that? Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna make the flop part. So this is the top point. And then we're gonna come back and then curve down to so draw a line going down. And then add a little curl here. So come in a little bit and then up. So that is our flop part. Then we're gonna draw the other side because we need to finish off this hat because right now it's just kind of open. So somewhere along your flop part, I want you to come down. And then when you get about here, I want you to kind of curve to the outside and then connect. Do you see that? I like that how it is. Yes. So there's our kind of Harry Potter inspired hat. Now, you have one more. So I want you to draw what you feel like. So if you liked one of these, maybe you do another one, maybe it's really skinny like this one, maybe it's wider. Let's see, I'm just gonna do one. I'm gonna... It could have a face. It could have a face? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe this one. I'll draw it a little curvy. 
and point. Ooh, fun. Okay, so there's my last hat. Now, you get to decorate your hats. So we added some buckles to these hats. If you want to add buckles to these hats, you can do that. I am kind of in a stripey mood, so I'm gonna add some stripes to my hats. So that just means I'm gonna draw some lines across. So let's see, I'll draw this one, or paint that in. Ooh, the one that's folded, you could make maybe make it look like it's had more years being worn, so it could have a couple patches on it or something. Ooh, that's a cool idea. So draw like a rectangle and then kind of some lines. It's kind of what patches look like. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> then let's see, this one, maybe I'll add some since it's kind of curly. I'll add some curl stripes, or curved stripes. So you get to decorate your hat however you like. Sweet. That's like a cat in a hat version. <laughs> now, we are going to start our watercolors. So what I want you to do is grab out your palette and squeeze out any of the colors that you have that you would like to use. So we're just gonna squeeze a few drops. Now, if you're wanting to mix colors, you can mix colors. You can do this however you like. But I have my four colors that we have. And what sometimes helps me is, because I know these colors sometimes look similar, is if you go and you put a little bit up here, and then remember to wash your brush in between, that may help you to remember what color you have on your palette. Okay, so when you are painting, remember you are the artist so you can paint this whatever color you like. But I wanna teach you a few fun techniques that you can use on your painting. So the first one is painting kind of an ombre look, which means it's gonna go from one color to a different color seamlessly. So what that means is I'm gonna start with one color and you're gonna paint it. So I'm just gonna start with my blue, but again, grab any color that you like. So I'm gonna start with blue. Maybe I'll paint all the way down. But I wanna go from blue to purple. So you put your one color down. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick your next color that you want to move to. So I'm gonna go from blue to violet. But what I wanna do is I wanna pick up a little bit of my violet and remember to clean your brush. And I'm gonna paint a little bit of violet just in the middle part. So do you see how I'm painting on top of the blue? And it's making it kind of like a navy. It's not quite violet, it's not quite blue. And kind of just painting the middle part. Then what I want you to do is I want you to wash your brush, get some water on it, and then you're gonna paint the bottom violet. So we just transitioned and moved from blue to kind of a mixture, so kind of a navy, and then violet. So there you go. Now, I realize when I'm painting this that this brush was a little bit big for this small of a hat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this brush, I'm gonna set it down, <laughs> whether on your favorite towel or in your, if you have little holes like I do in my basin, and I'm gonna grab my small brush because that is going to help me paint a smaller area. So if you have a small brush, go and grab that. Now, I'm gonna let this hat dry and I'm gonna move on to my striped hats. So I'm gonna pick a color, maybe I'll do this one in an orange, and I'm gonna paint the stripes. So I'm gonna leave my stripes white because I wanna paint that a different color later. So I'm gonna paint and go with my smaller brush. Now, there we go. Whenever you switch colors, I want you to remember, 
swish in your water because we're gonna change color so that way it doesn't get muddy. So for this hat, I wanna teach you a watercolor technique called wet on wet. So that means we're gonna start with wet paint and then we're gonna add more wet paint on top of it. So the first step is painting your first layer. Now, we haven't done any color mixing yet, but I wanna teach you if you want to make black because there's some black hats out there. So to do that is you have blue or your berry blue and you have orange or your tangerine. If you mix equal parts blue, so I'm gonna do three drops because I want a little bit more, and let's do three drops of the tangerine. So if you mix equal parts blue and equal parts tangerine, I wanna see what I get. Whoa! Ooh, can you pull that down a little bit for us? There we go, we just made black. Thank you. So again, I did equal parts, so however many drops of blue, do the same amount of orange. Now, I'm gonna take my color, whatever color you did, if you did black, paint it with me, and I'm gonna paint the whole thing. And I want you to move a little bit quickly because we're gonna do the wet on wet technique like I said in the beginning. So paint this whole thing. I'm gonna go around the buckle and the ribbon, add a curve. And you'll see when I'm painting, I'm not worried about going inside the lines. You might go outside of it and that's okay. Our lines are just there kind of as guidelines. They're just there to help us if we need them. So while it's still wet, let's quickly go to another color. So I'm gonna use my brush, swish it out because I wanna change it, the color. And let's see what happens if I do some blue. So I have blue on my brush. Now what I want you to do is with lots of blue on your brush, I just want you to hold your pen or hold your brush, point it up, and I want you to just go like this and just add a drop. Boop. And add a drop. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> you got that one. So do you see how because our black was wet and we're adding blue to it, it is making these cool color explosions and these dots and it's expanding into the color that was already there. Fun! Now what if we add some, cool. I wanna add some purple. Oh, I love watching it just expand and you never know. Here's the beautiful thing about watercolors. You don't know what you're gonna get. And that's kind of fun to see and to play and to experiment and see what happens. So Plan the shape and wait for the surprise of the color. <laughs> yeah, see they kind of blend it together on those ones. That's so fun to see what you get. Sweet. Those would also be good spots for an egg. Yeah. Okay, so now what I want you to do is you're actually going to wait. So we did our first layer on all of these hats and we're gonna do the next layer, but I need it to dry. Now you can either go pause and go take a snack break or if you have, we have this heated craft tool and I'm gonna dry this. Now, I let my painting fully dry, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another layer. So, these are fully dry, but I'm gonna start with my buckle. So I'm gonna grab my small brush, because this is a really small area, and I'm gonna paint my buckle, let's paint it like an, a light orange. Mm -hmm. So I want you to paint your buckle. Again, you can make this any color that you would like. Then, on the same hat that you paint your buckle, what I want you to do is I want you to paint the background any color. Now, this is a really big space, so I'm gonna actually switch to my bigger brush. I'm just gonna paint it orange, since I have orange. And we're gonna paint the whole background. Now, when you get close to your hat, it's okay if you touch it. Just kinda go around it if you can. And if you want a lighter color, kind of like I'm doing right now, you can just add more water. So I'm painting, but there's more water on my brush 
So that's how it makes this really light orange. So if you wanna make a light blue, you would add water to your blue. If you wanna make a light purple, you would add water to your purple. So I'm just painting around. And the bigger brush helps me to cover more space. Now, repeat the same thing on what else has a buckle. This one has a buckle, so let's do that one. And the other thing, the reason why I wanna to explain to you why I'm kinda of doing these two actually is because if I were to paint this one in the background, it would, it's touching this, so it might kind of blend the background color. Mm. Now, if you like that, it's okay to do that, but if you wanna have one where it's like this, where there are four different colors, then I want you to do the diagonal one. Because if we were to do this bottom one, it's the same thing, do you see that? Got it, yep. So let's do this one. So we have those two done. Now, you can either wait or if you want to keep painting, let's do these two. Okay, so we added the background, and I want to show you, again, everyone's is going to be so unique with their painting. So I want you to remember that each painting is unique, just like you. So the very last part is I'm gonna to switch to my small brush because it looks like I have my belts. I haven't painted my belts yet. So let's see, I'm gonna do a black belt for this one. Ooh, black belt. Ooh, black belt. Have any of you ever done karate? Did you ever do karate? I wish uh, I did karate. I did. You did? Yeah, I did a fighting style called Wing Chun Fa. Okay. I didn't get very far because the my my sensei moved, <laughs> but I advanced very quickly. Did so. you get a belt? No, it was a, a solo belt? training thing. Got it. So it wasn't. Got it. No, he was he was uh he had just gotten to the point of being to where he could teach, and he asked if I was interested. Cool. And I immediately said yes. <laughs> and I immediately picked it up. Nice. <laughs> so basically trained killer. To fight. Trained fighter. <laughs> now, if you saw what I was doing while we were talking, is I want you to make sure is to paint the inside of your buckle as well, because the ribbon goes all the way through. So same on this one, is I painted the inside square black because the ribbon goes all the way through. See? I see. Okay. Guess what? We're done! You are nailing it. You drew and painted and was creative with your, your hats. So good job. And Keenan actually had a fun idea where, what were you gonna say with the different sections? I have no idea. <laughs> that they could be place cards? Oh yeah, they could be really fun place cards. Or trading cards if you, you can cut these up if you want. Yeah, they're really cool. Uh, Halloween decorations, they could be yeah. puzzles maybe, if you cut them into a bit different pieces. <laughs> so there's so many ideas that you can do with your own painting. So just tape the, or take the tape off and then I want you to take a picture with your painting and I want you to share with us. So we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. We have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. We wanna see what you make. Tell us about your hats, your wisdom hats that we learned today. Wisdom hats. And always remember that you're brave, kind, and so creative. And I'll see you next time. Bye.